Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, um, <clears throat> Aquarius. Wow. <laughs> so, um, let me see. I'll explain that <laughs> in a minute. But um, for your messages today, I am using the... Um, the Astro Dice and a combination of uh, Oracle and Tarot to, to bring them to you. <laughs> so, um, you, you might just have a very heartwarming encounter on uh, social media with a, a ghost from your past. And you might just discover um, that you still have very deep feelings for this person. Anyway, we'll begin up here. We'll come back to that. We're going to begin with the Astro Dice. And it is falling, um, let me see, in the ninth house, um, Gemini and uh, Jupiter. So, um, um, you may learn something here of, uh, through this romantic encounter, um, the ninth house is about how you interpret things. I, ca this, I feel is going to happen over the internet, you kind of just meet up with this person. You, it could be that you learn something of value here, or there's something that is greatly valued, uh, or that you see that there is still value here, even possible potential. Um, there could be some flirting, <laughs> flirting going on here uh, through conversation between you and this person that kind of pique your curiosity and make you wonder if maybe uh, they, you know, are still interested in you. <clears throat> um, it, I feel like... Um, uh, I feel like uh, you kind of own that conversation. Um, it's like, uh, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it. You're, or they will find you to be very, very charming. Um, you, hmm. You will or need to, <clears throat> I, I think that you are quite aware of this, actually. Uh, it's your pride, actually, that may keep you from saying too much or exposing too much or even initiating something through conversation. This encounter, it's got you excited and nervous at the same time. Um, it can be that somebody will be trying to make themselves look good for the other. With the, with the peacock being here. So, hmm. This encounter is quite unexpected. Um, and you will try. So it's like a, maybe initially you stumble, but you quickly begin to own the conversation. Okay. So, um, but underneath, even though you may come off as being very confident. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> underneath, there's like a lot of negative thoughts going on here because you 
um, you're unsure of what exactly or where exactly this will lead. Do they still have feelings for you? Um, you know in that moment, it's like you can feel the butterflies in your stomach. There's an obstacle uh, currently. The obstacle is uh, a lot of negative thoughts, maybe because you literally can't see their face uh, over the internet, or, um, or you can, but you uh, can't read exactly uh, what they're feeling, you know. Your heart is very fragile and you perhaps are very vulnerable, but you will not let that show. There's a lot of buried pain or pain you thought you buried. Maybe you are remembering some of this at this time or even after, after the conversation ends. You know, um, I feel like uh, both of you still have feelings for each other. I don't feel that this connection is over. I really, really don't. Um, um, I think that you have grieved over this loss and have tried to bury the pain. Um, and this this encounter has just brought all of this uh, all of this back uh, full blown it's like you're not over this person and there's a realization of that and and the same goes for them you know um, pride this person I feel may have hurt you in the past pride um, may be holding you back from asking certain questions or specific questions with regards to perhaps an idea for something or following your heart or that taking a leap. Um, there's some wisdom that you need to know that you're thinking about, some type of clarity. Most likely this is having to do with uh, a new beginning and there can there be one I feel like you're seeking clarity about this but you know I all I also get that I mean we have the grail knight over here and this is a romantic connection I, I feel like you guys are mirroring each other in your thoughts they will be wondering if you would take them back especially if you know if they caused you pain in any way so uh, there's a, a decision to be made here you didn't get your wish in the past but you really really want it you you really wanted it and you still want it the thing is you're afraid that it might not work looking back um, makes you more fearful I think looking back at what happened makes you afraid uh, that maybe you know maybe it won't work and so we do have the grail knight as I said you could be wondering um, if what you felt uh, in this very heartwarming encounter and your um, how you interpreted it because we are dealing with the nine house so how you interpreted it were you just like kidding yourself like was this real or 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 false he appeared to be interested in you and I can tell you that uh, he or she most certainly was you you were not wrong about that 
You're not wrong about what you were feeling. You must learn to listen to what you're feeling. <clears throat> so this night uh, has stirred up some very uh, deep emotions within you. The water fairy is here. Um, oh, I have <laughs> barking dogs. Um, one minute, I'll just try and quiet them down. So, um, sorry about that. Um, what I want to say is that um, try to allow your, your feelings to pass through uh, instead of internalizing them. And um, perhaps uh, maybe try focusing on the positive um, the card of movement reminds you that all things change as part of the cycle of life. Um, movement uh, will bring challenges here that must not be um, resisted. Because um, progress can only be made by letting go of what was and welcoming what is and what is yet to come. You may need to forgive someone, forgive yourself. You may need to hear someone's side of the story because we're dealing with the ninth house and how you interpret things. It doesn't mean that your interpretation was correct. It's just about how you interpret things. And so I feel like this ended quickly and uh, there may not have an explanation or may not have been given, but maybe it wasn't the time either. Somebody would not have been willing to listen, not this person. Anyway. Um, it's time. Um... It's time to uh, maybe open up to be uh, more willing uh, at times to compromise and to allow change to happen. The water fairy uh, comes to wash away your tears or the tears of the past. Be mindful of the power of, of your emotions and how they affect you, okay? Uh, and also remember that feelings are the fuel for manifesting. So be certain that uh, you want to create what you're feeling. Very, very important. Be certain you want to create what you're feeling. And so that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.